Ali Reeve from Cheltenham was once a hard-working teacher with an active life. Then she contracted ME, the disease which used to be called yuppie flu, and everything changed. ME's destroyed my life. It's at the age of 35. I don't have the normal life. I used to be a very bubbly character. Um, I would love to be out working, but I know it's not possible. There are said to be a quarter of a million ME patients in the UK. They've just been told they can no longer donate blood. So some of them, including Ali, demonstrated outside the Department of Health. Well, they're just saying it's for us. They're not saying we are a risk to other people. I think there's more to it. And I think sufferers have a right to know. Symptoms from ME vary, but usually involve extreme tiredness, aching limbs and an inability to concentrate. It's often treated as a psychological condition, but the ME charity wants the Department of Health to acknowledge research carried out in America, which links ME to a virus. It's a pity they couldn't give um, a plainer answer, which is to say there may be something in blood which, is, uh, which would be uh, harmful to recipients. For the time being, we're, stop we're stopping any receiving any blood from ME patients. What I think is much more important than any of this is the fact that we simply do not do enough scientific research into ME, and that's why we're now scrabbling around to try and find some reasons. In a statement, the NHS Blood and Transplant Unit says, as ME and chronic fatigue syndrome is a condition where people can relapse and become ill again, donor selection guidelines are being changed as a precaution to protect the donor's safety by ensuring the condition is not made worse by donating blood. There is no evidence that a donation from a donor with this condition could in any way harm a patient. Ali says she just wants answers. Is ME caused by a virus? And if it is, can it be treated? Ken Goodwin in Cheltenham for the West Country Tonight.